Good morning, everyone, and it is a beautiful morning here at your Gladys Porter Zoo. I want to welcome everyone to this monumentous occasion. And just a few moments ago, as I was sitting here and looking at the date on the paper, November 7th, 2023, I realized that was my employment date at the Gladys Porter Zoo in 1970, which brings to bear the fact that I was here for the birth of the Gladys Porter Zoo. It was under construction when I got here. And fortuitously here, I'm here for the rebirth of the Gladys Porter Zoo for the next 50 years, thanks in large part to the City of Brownsville, the Commission, etc. The zip line will reach an exhilarating speed of 35 miles an hour to return riders back to the starting point, which is going to be right here in this corner. You'll go backward, up 120 feet in the air. You'll get a unique view, which you can't get anywhere else in Brownsville or for the valley for that matter. And you're gonna come flying down at 35 miles an hour. So it's going to bring a whole new group of people to the zoo just for that particular exhilarating experience. We are so excited about this project and we really express our gratitude to the city, to our zoo patrons, and all of you that support and love Gladys Porter Zoo for making this dream come true. It's taken us a while, but we're gonna fly like an eagle. I'd like to, first and foremost, thank you to the zoo board, to Pat, to your staff, that is incredible, that gives, brings so much happiness, right, to us, to our families, to our community, to the Rio Grande Valley. And with that, I would like to also thank the mayor and the state commission. They've allocated about $9 million towards the zoo in the last recent years. How are we going to accelerate and take our zoo and its accreditation to the next level? with you all. We cannot do it alone. We will not do it alone. Ordinary people create extraordinary projects and an extraordinary future for our kids. So thank you for being here. You are ambassadors of the zoo. When you think of zip lining, those of you who've been on the zip line, it gives you a sense of freedom, right? There's a lot of people, I've been to it. I took some students to uh, Camp Eagle and that's one of the biggest things to do when you face fear is to get on a zip line. And when you get up there, they also have the chicken ramp. So that when you get up there, you're like, well, I don't know if this is for me. And so you get, you get off. But um, to me, zip lines represent more than the adrenaline that pumps through, through the body and, uh, and the skies. It, it embodies a spirit of exploration and courage. It's a pursuit of joy, and, uh, and, and it's a testament to our community's vision of creativity and the commitment we have in providing unique experiences to our own citizens, to our kids, but also to guests and visitors. As we glide along this zip line, let's remember that sense of freedom and exhilaration that's going to live in us. Let it serve as a reminder that Brownsville is unafraid to reach for the sky. That we challenge ourselves and that we always try to create opportunities and memories that will last a lifetime. I want to express my sincere gratitude on behalf of the mayor and the commissioners to everyone involved in making this project a reality. The visionaries, the engineers, the construction teams, the local support, the donors, and all of you present here today. Together, we have transformed an idea into, an, into a tangible, heart-pounding reality. And that's only the start for what's to happen here in the future of the zoo. Thank you all very much. Thank you so much, Commissioner. And then we're going to say one, two, three, and then we're going to dump it on there. Ready? Ready? One, one, two, three. Thank <laughs> 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 you.